This is the plaintiff, Robert. He says he met the defendant on a dating website, and they ended up dating for a while. He gave her money to pay her bills, and she promised to pay him back. Then he found out the defendant was married with kids and was obviously using him. Bottom line, he regrets ever meeting the defendant and is suing her here today for the $2,500 she swindled from him. This is the defendant, Alexis Perna. She says she met the plaintiff on a website where men pay women for companionship. The plaintiff, however, couldn't handle the casual relationship she was willing to provide. He became very aggressive and possessive, and she stopped taking his calls. Yes, money was exchanged between them, but it was payment for companionship, and she certainly doesn't owe him a thing. She's accused of taking advantage of a lonely heart. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank Bam. you, Douglas. Oh, Robert, you've asked me to refer to only as Robert. You are suing Alexis Perna for $2,500 in loans that you say you made to her that she refuses to repay. Tell me what's going on. I met, you know, Alexi through a website. And what kind of website? Just a dating website. What's it called? That's, I don't think that's germane to the case, man. I'll, just, I'll be the judge of that. Well, What's I it don't want to What's answer that question. What's your price? What's your price? What does that mean? Um, pretty much. What's your price? It's uh, you name a price and um, go on a date type thing. So you get paid to go on a date? Yes. Okay. Um, and that's what you mean when you say in your answer that you were paid for your companionship? Yes. How long have you been on that? Um, I was on that site for about maybe like three weeks. How many different people did you meet on that site? Actually, after Rob and his uh, intense uh, behavior, I didn't Who's go that back gentleman? on. This is my cousin. Your cousin. Yes. All right. So wh who gave you the idea to do, like, how did you even hear about this? My good friend told me she about was doing it. it. Um, she was doing it, yes. This isn't hooking, no. right? Nope. Because you're not selling sex. No. You're selling your companionship. Right. Oh, so you go out with somebody, and then that somebody wants something more, and then what happens? Um, it's more like a dinner or like a coffee, and like there's a price that's set before an arrangement is made. Okay. So how, how much did he pay for you? Um, I think the... I think it was like $100 for the first date or something. Okay. And how much of that do you get and how much of it does the website get? Um, the website, I don't think gets anything. Oh, it's just like a Craigslist. Yeah. It's like just Kind of, I guess. Okay. So, Robert, you meet her through the website and you go out on a date. Yeah. And uh, is it like a dinner or a coffee date? We went out for dinner. We went out for dinner. And it wasn't $100. It was like $50 or $75. And you only pay for the first date. Okay. And I was in introduced to the site just like she was by a friend who told me it was a way to meet companionship and women. Mm -hmm. And you pay for the first date, and then after that, you don't pay anymore. So, but so, but okay. So there's um, all these websites where you can meet somebody who isn't charging I, for the I pleasure. I tried other websites. So I, what? What possesses somebody? I just listened to a friend who asked me to try no, the site. Can I, can I just ask you the question? I'm not judging you. I'm interested in understanding the psyche behind this. Like the the whole idea of paying for the date as opposed to meeting somebody who also is open to meeting somebody. Mm -hmm. Were you not having luck on other sites that you thought, okay, let me try I, something new? I actually hadn't been on any other sites for a while. So the first site you ever went on is one where you no, paid no, the No, no, I hadn't been on any other sites for a while, for man. For a while, okay. Do you understand? And then I was told by a friend You're of mine to- You're hostile. No, but I'm just trying to make you understand I know, that. but I'm fascinated at the idea. I don't know why you're so fascinated by two I'm, people. I'll tell you why I'm fascinated. Who want companionship. Right. They pay 50 two bucks people. or 100 bucks. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the part I'm fascinated well, about. Well, that's the, the way part. the website's set up. It's so that people can meet other people and the woman get compensated on the first date. Except for that you're here because according to you, you funneled a bunch of money over to the woman who demanded money for her companionship and now you're suing because you want it back. What happened uh, during the, I'm during sorry, the date? I'm sorry, ma'am. I loaned her. I have a promissory note signed We're going to talk about her. that right now. Hold on. Put, put, yeah. Go ahead and put the papers down yeah. and talk to me and tell me what happened. No, I mean, listen, we became fast friends. We went out on some casual dates. She went out with me for my birthday. I didn't pay for that date. 
She went out to the movies with me. She came over to my house. We watched movies together. We cooked a did couple you, times. Did you pay she up front for want, any other dates? She just didn't want anything more than casual. And, you know, I obviously misunderstood and thought she wanted something more than that. And, you know, it went on for about three or four months. And then in December, she told me she was having problems with her bills. She said that she needed money for her rent and Christmas. Was that gifts. the first time she asked you for money? Yeah, that kind of, that summer money, yes. So w the first date was when? September, I can't remember and the And in Christmas, sh the first time that you, that you gave her money was in December? Yes. Okay, and between September and December, how many times would you say you went out? Four or five, and then we got together when, we, when she could. She's got a very busy life. I mean, she's got a big family. She's got a lot of cousins, aunts and uncles, and helps her mother at the church and stuff. I mean, she's not a bad person, it's just that, she didn't have the type of time that I was looking for, for, you know. Well, you were looking for two different things. So she asked you for money in December for rent. She said she had bills. She said she was gonna go out and get it from somebody else and I didn't think it was a wise idea. I, I just talked to her and I said, I wouldn't, when she brought the other scenario to me. What I was thought, the other scenario? You mean meeting another guy on the site or something? No, no, it was just, she was gonna go out and get it on her own and you know, the way she explained it to me, it wasn't a safe way to get money. What did she explain to you that wasn't safe? She just said she was gonna borrow it from people and, and that she'd have to pay like money back per week that she probably wasn't gonna be able to do. So I says, look. Like I'll, loan sharking, you mean? I, I don't know, ma'am. I'm, look it, you're I, trying I to bring it, you know I'm something you're trying you to do? You so you're trying to bring in stuff that I don't no, need. No, it here's this how it works. Yeah, I didn't bring make up, you come to court, you came to court. This is how it works. You come here, you testify. I will have a follow-up question. I'm gonna have a follow-up question to her too. But I have to first it's, understand, it's you can't get mad every time was, I ask you a question. It's immaterial where she was gonna go no, and get the No, see, let me tell you what, you never tell a judge who asks you a question. You don't overrule my question. If I ask it, it's not immaterial because I'm the guy who thought it up. She was gonna get it from someone. I want to know it. I'm probably, I'll tell you what, why don't you object and I'll rule on your objection. Overruled, answer the question. Let's go. Talk to me. She told me a loan check. Whatever. She was somebody who was going to charge her too much interest. What difference does it make? They were going to charge $100 VIG a week. So yeah. I heard that and I said, listen, I'll try to help you out. Okay. And I went. So you, so you give her how much money? I gave her $2,500. I had to sign a promissory note. I got, okay. this is a signed. Let me see the promissory note. Here's the promissory note. I actually made a mistake the first time it was filled out because I put the wrong date here because I've never filled one of these out before. I went on- but Why uh, does the date, okay, go ahead. You know, and then I had her sign it again. So she, she signed, signed it, twice. it twice. So let me hear from you, Lexi. Um, you sell your companionship for 50 bucks or 75 bucks or 100 bucks, and then what happens? Uh, where do I start? <laughs> well, why don't we start somewhere after the first date? Did you guys end up becoming intimate? No, not a, no, 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 no. It wasn't like that. Um, it was more. He wanted more of like a like a girlfriend, like a full time type. You know, more of like an involved type thing. And I explained to him numerous times that you know, like I don't have time for any type of relationship. This is a mutual, like beneficial relationship. Like you can help me out. I can hang out with you. You're lonely. We'll go out to the movies, dinner, whatever. How, so, but if he only pays for the first date, then how are you benefiting the other times? No, no, he didn't only pay for the first date. How did he pay for the other dates? What do you mean, how did he pay? Did he pay you directly? Did he go through the website? How did it work? Oh, I know, by that point we were done with the website, so he would just give me cash. Seriously? Mm -hmm. How much cash would he give you when you would go out? Um, like if he'd, he'd ask me, he'd be like, you know, do you have bills due? And I'd be like, yep. And he'd be like, here's a couple hundred bucks or you know, this or that, and I'd be like, okay. How often did that happen? Maybe like once a week. So how often did you go out? How many times did you guys go out? He wanted me to sleep at his house three nights out of the week and be there for a fourth day. And I told him that I did not like sleeping anywhere but my own bed. Um, I'm sorry, were you guys intimate or no? What, we weren't did intimate. Did you have sex? No. Okay, so you were gonna sleep in his house and do what? He just, I think he just liked someone like beside him, like, okay. you know, to sleep in his bed, like just someone to watch TV with, like kind of like, you know, sit next to, eat dinner with. Okay, and according Which to I you, can... how, many uh, how many times did you guys go out and he pay for you to go out with him? Probably about 15. 15. Were there ever times that you went out with him where he didn't pay for your companionship? 
maybe like once or twice. So did you borrow $2,500 from him? So I was under the impression that that was a gift because I was struggling. And he came over and he, I was actually, we were having like a family emergency and my cousin Chris was there. And he comes to my apartment and we're literally like, it, like it was a hectic thing. And he keeps saying like, promise, promise note, promise note. So I'm thinking like promise note, love note, like promise, you know, I don't know, promise to like be my companion or something. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, has a piece of paper and a pen. And he's like, sign this. As I'm like on the phone and yelling with him and I'm just like looking at him like this is a really bad time right now. He's like, can you just sign this and we can get this over with? And I'm just like, Are you, you know, trying to yeah. explain why you signed two, not one, but two promissory notes by accident? I signed one. You signed two. <sighs> If it was a gift, why would you sign a promissory note? I, well, I didn't understand what he meant. When he, when he said promissory note, Why didn't you thought, read what you were signing before you signed it? I thought, like, promise, like, oh, promise, like, you know, to Okay, you can't be possibly around. think I'm going to buy that, do you? No, I swear to God. Because you're so really savvy, good. you charge for the pleasure of your company. But yeah. you want me to believe that you signed a promissory note by accident because I, you were on the phone? If, you couldn't put the phone down and read what you were signing? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So... Uh, she um, gets paid for her companionship and sometimes borrows money from guys. Is she ratchet or legit? What do you think? Um, no, I think not. No. She's what? She, yeah, she, yeah, she's, she's, she's lying. Okay, she's, well, she's not lying. The question yeah. is, is she legit? I think she's just out there hustling. Um, the guys are stupid enough to pay for it, so it's not her fault, it's theirs. Okay, that is a point of view. Everybody agree with that, disagree with that? Well, if she's honest about it up front, then it's no problem. But then she borrows money. Yes, but if she wants that and he wants that, then that's okay. Ah, prevailing view, they got what they want. Going inside the courtroom. I'm going to need an explanation from you. Uh, what was so catastrophic that you signed a contract in the going on in your family with a, uh, uh, that you would sign something I'm not supposed to hold you to because you didn't know what you were doing? What was going on? What was the conversation you were having on the phone? There was a fight between some family members, which escalated between a fight between me and my cousin, which then got uh, our parents on the phones, and it was a really bad time. Did your cousin want to say something, or you just want to crawl into the ground and die? And not <laughs> and not happy. Uh, no, Do you have anything to elucidate me on? So. Yeah. Come on up here if you want you to. You see how hostile he is towards you. I mean, how? Yeah, he's very hostile, but so what? She's the one who went out with him a bunch of times. Yeah, I mean, you know, just, he's just... got, he's got, look. He's got his life. It's not going the way he wants. He wants some companionship. We have all been there. But I'm not sure this is the right answer because look how it goes, okay? Because someone who wants you to pay for them to go to dinner with you is someone who's going to rob you dry. So really, his hostility towards me is inexplicable because I'm just trying to educate him. But he's who he is. He's right there. Now, you one could say she's who she is, too. Absolutely. You want me, you pay for me. But here's the thing. What do I do with this? I don't know, but you see the hostility just towards you. I don't care how hostile he is. Hostile what do I her do? To sign He's it. hostile, she's a snake. What do I do with this? What do I do with the fact that she signed this? I'm supposed to pretend that she's just, oh, she didn't know what she was signing. <laughs> pay the man, $2,500 verdict for the plaintiff. So the plaintiff is going to get his $2,500 back. Lexi, you've just come out of the courtroom. Hi. How do you feel about what you just went through? The judge, she's so cool. I'm just joking. Wrong way. <laughs> You're going out the wrong door. See, she told me I was savvy, That's... right? <laughs> okay. Is it all over between you two? Yes. All righty. Well, sorry about that. Have you learned anything about... Uh, absolutely you have. Yes. You have. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we won't go any further with it. Okay? okay. Thanks. You two must sign some documents. Harvey, I'm sure you have some points on this. What are they? Okay, Doug. Uh, I got to tell you, if you're in a situation where you are kind of in deep and you feel like maybe you need a reality check, I am telling you, it is a good idea. Find a friend who doesn't have a dog in the fight. Sit down with a friend and say, here's what's going on. Am I getting scammed? Sometimes you need to listen to somebody other than what's in your head.